through how to use the download shortcode to display a grid or a list view of your digital download products that you have created through Easy Digital Downloads. This is a simple to use shortcode that you can place on any post or page in your WordPress install to display products from specific categories, all of your products, etc. So in this example, I'm displaying a list or a grid of all of the products that I have created in the plugin. So here we can see a, a three column grid with two rows and then after that we have some pagination to go over to the next page if we want to display the additional products. So this is very simple to configure. If we go into our page that we wish to display as our product store, in this case I've called it download store, you can see we have a simple short code right here. You simply start out with downloads and then you have a variety of parameters. In this case, I have used order equals ascending and number equals six. So this means that I'm going to display them in an ascending order and I'm going to display six of them per page. Let's change this to three for a moment to see what that does. We will update our page and once we've done that, we're gonna go over here and refresh and you'll see that now we only have three items per page instead of six. So instead of having two pages, we now have three pages. So now we can go over to page two if we want, and then we can also go on to page three as well. Let's take a look at some of the parameters that this short code has. If we go over here to the documentation on the website, which you can locate by going to documentation, scrolling down until you find short codes, and then clicking on the one that says show downloads list sh grid, show the downloads list or grid. Okay, so here we can see a list of the parameters. We have category, tags, relation, number, price, excerpt, full content, buy button, columns, thumbnail, order by, and order. So there are several parameters here. Most of the time you won't need all of them, but it gives you some extra flexibility if you do. Let's say that we only want to display downloads from a particular category. Well, we have a category called plugins, and I will show you what that category looks like really quickly. We go to our downloads page in the admin, and we'll give it just a moment to load. Now you can see we have a category here called plugins, and so we want to only display the downloads from that category, and in this case, we have three of them. So we can simply add in another parameter that says category equals plugins. Then save the page, and as soon as that saves, we can go over here to our download store page where we have our short code placed, refresh, and we're only going to see the products from that particular category. Now, you'll note that it says no downloads found, and that's because if I look in my URL, I'm still trying to view page three. So if we get rid of that, now we'll load it up and we can see all three of our products. Now there's only three of them, so there's no pagination shown. But if we were to add another download to this particular category, we would then see the pagination. And you can do the same thing with tags as well. So your downloads can have tags, and we can simply sp specify the tags that we won't use by saying tags equal. So let's give this a try. Let's say tags equal tag one. Now we're gonna update. Now at the moment, we don't have any downloads that have tag one. So let's go ahead and add one to it. So let's take this one right here. We'll go to the quick edit mode, and we'll say tag one. Now, when you specify both a category and a tag, it's going, to use, it's going to require that that product be in both of them. So it's only going to show the products that are in both of them. So we refresh the page, and you'll see that we only now see that one download that is both in the category of plugins and has the tag of tag01. Now, there are several other parameters that we can use. There are, uh, there's the price. Do we want to show the price or not? So you can see right now we have the price is shown right there. But if we want to remove that price, we can simply say price equals no. We also have, by default, the excerpt is enabled by excerpt equals yes. But if we wanted to disable the excerpt, we can go over here to this page right here, and we can say excerpt equals no. And then we'll update the page, and we can go over here and refresh. and now the excerpt is gone. We also have a thumbnails option, so if your products have thumbnails associated, we can show the thumbnails. This is enabled by default, but you can turn it on or off if you want. Then you can also choose the order options, or let's say that you want to enable or disable the buy button. So in this case, the buy button is enabled by default, but let's turn it off, so we'll say buy button equals no. 
and we'll update again, go over here and refresh, and you'll see the buy button is now gone. And there it is. But we can still go to the product, and then we can add it to the cart and purchase it from the detail page right here. We can simply click purchase, and now it's in the checkout. Thanks for watching.